Hi, it's Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Not having a great day today. <laughs> Not a red letter day for me. Um, but it is Sunday and I got two packages yesterday. And I'm really, <laughs> I'm really interested to show these to you because, uh, excuse the no makeup face and all that, but that's, it's not about me. It's about, about these. <laughs> um, I looked online. I've been trying to get my hands on a scrap bag from Fat Quarter Shop um, because I've seen videos and they look like they're pretty good. So uh, what I did is I, I keep checking. I'm figuring they're going to put more scrap bags together soon. They've got to. And what pops up? A mystery ba bag for 10 bucks. I bought two of them with quilt panels. Now, I know a lot of purists out there are probably against panels. I'm not. So um, yeah, I also did this so that I could show my audience what's in these, um, for lack of a better word, <laughs> bags. <laughs> they're, they're actually, um, it's hard to tell how many are in here. And this one kind of caught my eye and said, wait a minute, what is that? And is this something that should be embroidered? So, um, yeah, it, this is a quilter scrap bag, though. So maybe somebody works that into a quilt. I don't know. Maybe a baby quilt. I don't know. I won't know till I open it and look at it. So I'm here to share two mystery bags from Fat Quarter Shop um, with my audience. So we'll see what's inside and stay tuned. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so the first one, this one, that has the cross stitch thing in it, has my interest. I will put my glasses on just so that I can see what I'm doing. They are sealed with a nice little, um, they're in a Ziploc that I'm never going to get them back into. <laughs> never. Um, but they're, I, don't, I think you're not supposed to keep uh, fabric in plastic for too long anyway. But... It looks like there are, well, I just opened the one and um, it looks like this one is separate. This cross stitch one. It really does look like regular cross stitch fabric, but I don't think it is. Um, this is the panel. I don't know if your lighting is that good. Actually, it's made up of a bunch of squares that I guess you could put into a quilt. Um, the fabric's nice, very nice. It, this is an, an unusual thing um, to get, <laughs> I think, in one of these um, panel bags. But, uh, you know, I'll just have to think about how I would use that if I use that. Okay, I very much more like <laughs> like the others. Um, okay. Oh, this is all one. Oh, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> let's see. This is a huge. I'm going to show you both sides. This is a huge um, scrap and. This is says zippy bags on it, so I guess you can make bags with it. I don't know, but I do like the sewing design on it, and I do like the sewing machine theme, as well as there are sections that are, are just um, plain. Oh my goodness. I love the sewing machine one, <laughs> but this is not a pan. This is obviously not a panel that was meant to stay in one piece. It was meant to be cut up and used in different projects. I'm just trying to. Well, I can't separate it quite. I cut all my nails off because they were starting to break. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but what this has is 
um, people on it too. Sewing, sewing vintage. Um, this is by Riley Gray. And, well, look at that. It's, I think it's, after I get done showing you guys this, I will step back. This um, has a lot of different designs on it. Yeah. Um, and their instructions, actually, that's helpful. Okay, so that's all that was in the one bag. It's a pound of panels. And here's the other bag. Now, there's a guy with a guitar, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> so, okay, please don't be Elvis. Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, that would actually make a good um, panel for somebody who um, plays music. <laughs> okay, now this one is uh, let me see if I can figure this out before I even show. I believed I could and so I did. <laughs> There's a sewing machine. Um, excuse the mess I sew here. Welcome to my happy place. It's a door hanger you can make. Um, there's also um, huh, look at that. They're little cut and sew. Press repeat. <laughs> this has a lot of a lot of stuff on it, and it's um, going to be very useful. Definitely very useful. Okay, and it looks like there, there's two more. There was more in this particular envelope than there were in the other, I guess, because that one big piece in there is um, uh, oh, good fabric, plain old fabric. No, not plain old fabric. <laughs> It is a fabric panel. Uh, let's see. It's tough when you've cut your fingernails off and you wanted to... See, these are actually really nice big panels. I think you could do a, a really great um, cut um, and make a uh, quilt. This wouldn't be used as a panel, it would be used instead as scrap fabric. And then there's one more, and I really do like it because it's birds. And it's a long strip that has um, all kinds of birds on it. Yeah, I like this. This would make a nice, a nice um, corner thing. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm sure I'll find a way to use this. Um, like I said, I'm not against fabric panels. The very first quilt I ever made and hand quilted was uh, using a big fabric panel. Um, so I'm not totally against them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my chair and stand back and hold up each piece of fabric one at a time. Um, and that'll be the end of our video. So I hope I gave you a pretty good idea what comes in these um, fat quarter um, things. And hopefully, hopefully it'll make you... Uh, help you make a decision about whether you want to buy them or not. So anyway, stay tuned for pictures of the fabrics. Okay, so starting from the bottom up. Actually, this was better close up. Um, it is all these birds. Each one has their own square, as you can see. And they're complete, which I like. And this is 
who designed this? Riley Blake. So, yeah, this is really pretty. This is also Riley Blake Designs. And this is a panel of... Let's open you up. Of very usable squares. Let me step back a little further. These could all be um, cut in certain ways so that you can actually use them in a quilt. I'm not sure what they measure. They look to be about eight or nine inches across. It's upside down. Okay, and then there is this one, which uh, has the sewing machine designs on it. And a bunch of little squares. Hmm. Those little squares, if I squared them off, could make nice little corners on a um, log cabin. And it looks like they're a bunch of, yeah, they're a bunch of charm pack uh, pictures also. So getting your blade out, you could probably cut quite a bit of good stuff out of this. Uh, Lori Holt, Happy Place. Okay. So this one is Lori Holt. The fabric is way heavier. Um, it looks like there could be a lot of fun making stuff with this you know, a lot of different things. And it has instructions at the top. This is from Moda. Okay. This one is a Moda um, it has complete squares and I guess I'm not sure how we would use this. Uh, you could actually use them, like actually cross stitch them and put them on a uh, pillow. Oh, look at that. It's four separate panels, all Nashville. So yeah, so that, that was, not sure what I'll do with this, but I will do something with it. This is quite a bit of fabric. Now this was $20. I'm out of the frame here. This was $20 for all this. I did buy two packages, so you can buy one. Um, and that's $10. So this is actually $20 worth. And I'm pretty happy with this. Like, you know, I think it's going to take me a while to work through how I'm going to use some of this stuff, but yeah, but I do like some of this very much. My husband's favorite bird is a cardinal, so maybe I'll feature that on something for him. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I am now out of frame, and I put my chair away. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is a pretty good haul. Fabric is really good quality. Some of it's super heavy, um, and some of it's just regular quilting weight. It's really, really nice. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, please subscribe. Thanks. There are going to be a lot more videos with creativity in mind um, and more planning and more knitting and more crocheting. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.